Are you having trouble understanding the use of VLOOKUP in spreadsheet for your incoming IGCSE exam in ICT? In this video, we will be talking about how to use it properly and understand the use of it. Coming up. So there's a question here <clears throat> in June 2017, paper 31. In D12 and in D18, <clears throat> use a function to look up the job descriptions of this employee. So if you look closely at that here, there is what we so called job descriptions here, and this is the table where you can get it. So there are some codes, which is called job codes, J, V, and there will be some letters here that you can have as well. Um, here's the job codes, as also the X. So the expected value here will be the junior web developer. So but how we can get it into an automations, so you're going to click this one here, use VLOOKUP, and then uh, the lookup value will be what you are searching for so you are searching for the code of this one the X so where you can find the table array for that so where means the group of those particular thing the group of the code as well as the data that you need so you have to highlight this particular portion now in some cases you need to lock the range if this is basically uh, data that you need to drag uh, the, the, the informations just like what we have right now that there's a lot of things that we need to do here so you need to press F4 on your keyboard that, that will lock the, the reference or the range that you have the column index number indicates where the data is coming from so if you observe we highlighted this portion here last time so it's gonna be column 1 and column 2 so if you look closely this is the number 2 so in the column index number you have to write number 2 now this part can sometimes be left empty but ideally you have to put zero if that is the exact match like the X there's an X here so you better write X as well you click OK so basically you will have the answer there so that is the purpose of the VLOOKUP but some questions they are not like this just play around with this particular thing right now here let me just move this data and put it here now how we can get our information is based on that so the same method you're going to use the VLOOKUP here click that VLOOKUP the lookup value is what you are searching for as I've said this is going to be the X so where you can find the information of X and the full form it's from here going to that side so if you look closer right now it's a little uh, it's far from each other so you have to press F4 on your keyboard to have those dollar signs which makes it an absolute reference and then what would be the column index number so you should count it from where to where it what I meant like from which the column started and where the end of the columns okay if you count one two three four five six so your column index number should be six and you should put zero here so in the end you will get the same result so don't forget that you need to lock the particular thing if you will not lock it it will be a mess of your work so just give an example let me just uh, highlight this part uh, okay and press enter if you observe I didn't abs make it absolute I'll make it relative so now if I'll double click I will have NA here because the reference that I have changes it goes down if you observe the data that we have right now so that is essentially the purpose of the VLOOKUP functions that's why it's called VLOOKUP because the data is arranged vertically so what is vertically arranged so we our source our codes here so it's going down that's why it's called VLOOKUP for that particular function so um, it's not always that you have to put zeros or zero there sometimes you need one so one question which is actually required one in this particular question here I have this particular it came in one theoretical paper in uh, I'm not sure what year was that but it came that uh, you, what you will do in here is you have to um, get the get the grades the grade of this particular student would say based on the criteria it's like taking the exam uh, so this particular data so what you will have to do right now in this particular area is to use the VLOOKUP still so but this particular VLOOKUP we have right now is to look at the code so the average mark of the boy is 55 where the table array is basically from here now observe I don't have to lock the reference because the data will not be dragged down 
so without putting the lock it's okay putting the lock it's still okay so call up next number so I selected from here one and this is number two so I have to write two but if I will write zero it gives me nothing because basically there is no such thing as 55 in here so now this is the purpose of the command true when it is next to it or close to it so this is the purpose of that one so instead of zero I'll put one so right now it gives me the letter D the purpose of that particular zeros and one on the formula of VLOOKUP so again take a look so here this is where you are searching for this is where you get the reference I mean the, 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 the group and this is where the number of columns where you have to insert and the range val look of value is one or two one or zero so you can write also false you can write also true here so that's it for the use, use of VLOOKUP any further questions feel free to comment and you will have the, the feedback anytime soon ciao